So now let us discuss about more about universal Turing machine. So universal Turing machine is something by the pictorial diagram, a concept basically. It is not like that of the machine. So these are the tapes, okay, where you can store instructions, and it is given like this way: m hash x okay so what is m now this hash x so m is in binary format so let us say that 0010 0, 0, and that is a hash and x suppose some input symbol so it's like 10 <coughs> okay so what will happen uh, this m is the universal uh, machine so it accepts x like this way and where m is copied over here x is copied over here and some something is s is another <coughs> symbol so let us for the previous example what is m m was something like this uh, maybe it is s to a and it generates us i think it is q b and r okay so <coughs> and this is x and x is what 0 1 0 so 0 1 0 is nothing but previously we have, we have seen that these are the input symbol so 0 means a b means 1 x is capital x was 2 and capital y was 3 so 0 1 0 means uh, a b and a so x is nothing but a b and a okay so this is something uh, this a is in a is in uh, binary format as well as uh, your x is also binary format okay and uh, suppose an input is given like this way suppose uh, 0 1 0 1 this this 1 0 0 1 0 uh, 0 1 0 there is no hash suppose input is given like this way to this universal turing this is nothing but universal turing machine this format so what will happen simply it will go on reading and it will find there is no hash because hash is the separator because this is this is the machine and this is the input so since there is no separator hash so it will simply reject this particular string okay so you have to keep in mind so that should be an hash okay so universal turing machine will just uh, replace all these things accordingly so it may so what are the uh, normal functionality so uh, we can say that uh, that uh, for an universal Turing machine, if M accepts X, then M hash X, okay, is uh, accepted by is accepted by universal Turing machine, okay. If uh, M reject S then m hash x is rejected by universal Turing machine and <clears throat> for m loops x then this universal Turing machine uh, is also loop okay then utm is also loops so these are the <clears throat> characteristics of the this universal Turing machine okay so this is m and it will be just uh, accepting this input symbol and it will uh, go on replacing the values and do accordingly okay <clears throat> another important thing that is we will study that m hash x is m accept x and the second one is m hash x is m holds on x now see these two are different thing okay these two languages these two statements are different one is m accept on x and m holds on x so this is nothing but uh, we can say that uh, it is a membership this one is membership problem okay this is the membership problem and this is the halting problem halting problem okay so and these both are different okay these both are different and 
also you can understand that uh, this this is nothing but when m accept x it is nothing but it is recursive enumerable language okay and holds uh, means uh, holds means what uh, you have uh, already uh, i have already discussed that holds means it is either accept or reject but there is no loop okay so holds means only this that either it will accept or reject then we can say that the language holds okay so these two things we have to consider in his mind and better these two languages are different okay this is m accept x this is a membership problem and this is m halt on x this is a halting problem okay thanks sir so let us uh, recapitulate what is uh, universal turing machine so we can say that uh, universal turing machine or utm is capable of simulating any Turing machine okay T if any Turing machine T if the following information is available on to its step okay so what are those uh, information so in bullet i am writing the description of t sorry the description of t in terms of its SFM that is program area of the tip that is nothing but program area of the tip and the number two so first one is the description of T in terms of is SMF SFM that is the program area of the tip and the number two the initial configuration the initial configuration of T along with the processing data along with the sorry so along with the processing data along with the processing data that is nothing but input string to be fed to t to be fed to t that is nothing but data area of the tape so the initial configuration so to uh, the uh, two things the description of t in terms of its sfm the program area of the tape and the initial configuration of t along with the processing data that is input string to be fed to t that is the data area of the tape okay so next uh, a universal turing machine requires an requires an imitation algorithm imitation algorithm okay to correctly interpret the rules of the operation the rules sorry the rules of the operation given in the given in the SFM for P 
So a uh, UTM requires an uh, imitation algorithm to correctly interpret the rules of the operation given in SFM of T. Okay. Uh, next, the concept of universal Turing machine laid the foundation for stored program computers for stored program computers okay and the SFM of universal Turing machine can be visualized can be visual visualized as part of the OS that is the program capable of loading and executing other programs. So we can conclude that hence UTM is nothing but is a meta program that takes other program that takes other program as input and simulates them okay so this is uh, something about the universal Turing machine. So finally what we have studied that the universal Turing machine is capable of simulating and uh, Turing uh, machine T uh, if the following information is available into the tape. So two information are there. The description of T in terms of its SM, uh, SFM uh, that is the program area of the tape and the initial configuration of T along with the processing data that is input string to be fed to T that is the data area of the tape. A uh, universal Turing requires an uh, imitation algorithm to correctly interpret the rules of the operation given in the SFM of 40. The concept of the universal Turing machine laid the foundation for the stored program computers. The SF of the UTM can be visualized as a part of the operating system that is a program capable of loading and executing other programs hence universal Turing machine is a meta program so this is the meta program that uh, takes other program as input and simulates them so this is all about the universal Turing machine okay thank you